All right, so I'm going to show you really quick how I make my own custom signs when I have parties that I want to either impress or, I don't know, show off a little bit. These signs are in no way to replace any of the really high-end quality signs that are on any of the Facebook uh, photo booth pages. These are, you know, probably one-time use. I've, I've been able to use them for, you know, a few different parties, but after time, they start getting pretty, um, pretty destroyed. So these are just mostly for, you know, one-time parties that um, you want to make a custom sign for really cheap, and really fast. So the first thing I do is I open up Photoshop, file, new, and most people at home have a normal printer. So it's going to be US paper size 8.5 by 11. I switch it the other way and make it 11 by 8.5. 300 DPI. Click OK. Here's my page. Um, I then go over to the this little line tool, and you can create a round, rounded uh, rectangle tool. And we can make a sign shape. Now, I don't know, I usually make them, I guess, around, uh, I don't know, we'll say, we'll do 10 inches. Uh, yeah, let's do 10 inches. By four and a half. Okay, so there's a nice thing. I don't know why I changed yellow because I had yellow selected, um, but it doesn't matter. So what I usually do is I'll go and I'll change the color. I don't know, it's black. Now this would be fine if I cut this out, but I like to have a white border around all of my all my graphics. So I'll just make a copy of this layer, and then go to the bottom layer. Double click it, go to stroke, actually I lied, we're going to go to the top layer first and we'll do a white stroke, which you won't see it right now so we'll make it a different color just so that we can see how, how deep it is. So let's just do like whatever, blue, make it a little bit bigger, you can see kind of how far around it goes, I don't know, I go out about a quarter of an inch. Then I'll change it to white, so it'll obviously disappear on the white background. Now I'll go to the bottom layer, double click that, go to stroke, make it just until I have a slight line around it, very slight, like you can't even really see it, and that's going to be my cut line. And I'll usually make that like a light gray, so it's just enough for me to be able to see it with my eyes, but if I miss, the, if I miss it while I'm cutting, you won't notice it on any of the signs. Click OK, click OK. Now, if I zoom in, you can't even really see that line around it at all. Whoops. You know, it's very, very light. It's just enough, again, so I can see it to cut it later. All right, next thing I do is uh, pretty much just look for some kind of colorful background. I like starburst backgrounds. Starburst backgrounds. Um, always click images, click search tools, change the size to large. Remember, the larger the size, the better the quality is going to be when you print it out. If I do any size, you know, say I like this one, it's only 900 by 5, 506. Um, it's not going to, it's going to look blurry. As you can see on this, it actually looks kind of blurry. So I always go size at least large, but because Starburst is such a generic background, I'll even go larger than and do like a four megapixel um, file size. And then you'll get stuff that's like really nice and crisp when you do image. But you no, know, I don't like that one. Let's try to find something else. Let's do let's do this one. Yeah, see see how nice and crisp that is? And it's huge, the file is huge. So I just do copy image. Go back to Photoshop, Command V, paste it, and then resize it. 
Remember, you can always go smaller with files, but you can't go larger. If you try to go larger, it'll just get blurry, but smaller you can. So I just make it pretty much the size of the... Let's do this. Make it the size of the thing here. Center it up. Now, if you press Command and click the layer, it'll give you the little outline here. And then select the inverse. So now you're selecting the outer area because that's what we're going to delete. And if you select the, the back drop down, press delete. Now you have your shape. Ew. Then you just go over. You can add logos. You can add names or whatever. I'm doing something called uh, best day ever. And their thing is hashtag best day ever. So I'm just going to make that one right now. So I usually um, start with black. Hashtag best day ever and you can play with fonts and do different things but I'm probably going to change this font to something a little bolder maybe impact yeah oops also another thing I like to do whenever I'm working with um, words or like websites or hashtags and there's multiple words in there like this has three words best day ever I like to make the first letter a little larger than the rest so like I would bring the EST down I don't know maybe like halfway AY halfway ever oops I lost it hold on like that it just pops out more and now you can actually even make it a little bigger to fit on the screen or to fit on the sign better kinda like that now you can use different colors do different things um, most likely let's see because it's kind of a fun type of thing I'll probably go with white we'll add a Stroke around it, just black. We'll make it a little, a little thicker. Um, I don't know. We'll bevel and emboss it a little bit. Um, maybe even do a little. No, no drop shadow. Let's do a. Actually, let's see what a gradient looks like on here. Let's do a white to red. See what that looks like. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's see white to yellow. No, it's not too bad either. Let's do let's do that. Let's just adjust where the white goes here a little more. Okay. So I'm just gonna stick with that just to have it. And then I'm gonna print this and we'll go from there. So you're gonna go file, save, well let me save it first, best day ever. I have a lot of crap on my computer here, so. And if you really want to see the outline, you can actually turn off this back layer. And you can see the white around there. All right, and then we'll print it. So when I print the signs, um, I usually use a matte photo paper. Today I only have a glossy, so that's what I'm shooting on. But, you know, when you use glossy, you're going to get a lot of reflection from the photo booth lights. So definitely pick up some uh, matte photo paper. And, you know, depending on your printer, this printer takes about a minute for it to print. But I can make these signs complete from beginning to end in about 10 minutes. Two-sided, which I'll show you how to do once this pops out. And again, these are in no way to replace any of the quality signs that are on a lot of the photo booth prop websites. This is just me showing you how I make quick signs for certain clients. I don't do it for everybody. Usually corporate ones, I'll do some signs with like their logo or, you know, like uh, I love Kodak 
or whatever the company, you know, if, if Kodak was a corporate, you know, um, company, I would do something like that. And you can see that line that's around there, very faint. Well, not too faint, but there it is. All right, let's, uh, let's cut these out, put them onto some poster board, and go from there. All right, for the actual sign making, uh, pretty much you're going to need foam board. This is the 14 by 11 foam boards. I get them from Michaels. comes with four boards in there. You can do two signs per board. These cost about $7 and some change. After the 40% off coupon, it's like $4 um, for these. So the signs are really cheap to make. Then you're going to need some spray adhesive. You're going to need a X-Acto knife and a ruler. I like the metal rulers for cutting, which is my own preference. That's what I like. All right. Let's get started. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I just like to use the ruler and just get kind of close to the sign. It doesn't have to be exact right now. And then we'll just cut off this, oops, cut off this piece of paper here. Just to get it. Oh, this is a dull exacto knife. So make sure you have a nice sharp one. I'm going to switch out the blades. All right, so just get it kind of close. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go outside. Don't spray this stuff inside. It is kind of strong. You're just going to spray a light mist across the whole piece of paper. All right, we just sprayed some adhesive on the paper here. Now you're just going to grab one of your boards. Stick it on here. If you have a roller, use a roller. If you're going to use a roller, put another sheet of paper on top of here and roll over it. Don't roll right over your the ink. I don't have a roller and I'm just going to press it down. Okay? Just like that. Now, pretty much, just go around and cut along this line that you made on the printer. And just cut this. You're gonna have to make a couple passes at it. Don't try to go through all on one, one shot. With a brand new blade, pretty much two passes and you're through. All right? Now let's do the other side. Just like that. Don't worry about these edges yet. We're going to fix that. All right? But even that, just a one-sided sign, there you go. Now, to line up for the other side, what I do is I actually just pre-cut just the paper. So let's just go through and cut this. Just like that. Now you're going to take this and go spray some adhesive on the back. Okay, we're back. We did put some adhesive. Take your sign, flip it over, make sure it's the right way. Double check it. And now you're just going to line up the, the corners. Now this part, once it goes down, it sticks good, so make sure the corners are aligned. I'm just going to get a little closer to my face here so I can see it a little better. Because once it's there, Nope. It's there. That corner's good. That one's pretty good. All right, same thing. Roll it out. If you have a roller, put a piece of paper on top of it. If not, just press it. You have a double-sided sign. Now, for the corners, now if you feel too, you'll see, I don't know if you can see, like there's a little bit of an overhang up on the paper. Same thing, you just grab your ruler here and you can just cut right through all of it make it nice and even
Now it's pretty good. Now for those edges, it's just a slight little curve. You can actually just cut it, go straight down and cut it, or you could just kind of, you know, scrape around and make it a circle. It's really just one little bloop, like that. Again, you might have to do it a couple times to get through it. I'm at kind of a weird angle here with the camera. And then we'll do it on the other side. And that's it. Your sign is done. It's a double sided sign. Again, this will last you, you know, a few parties, but I like using them for just, uh, you know, special ones. And that's it. Again, I would use um, matte paper. This is on glossy, so that's why I get that huge reflection like that. If it's on matte, it actually works out a lot better for you. Yeah, so that's it. Yay. All right, now I'm going to make the other sign in real time so you see how fast it actually goes. So here we go. Three minutes. Done. Nice sign here.